Absolutely. This is where he walked in here 11 years ago as a bullied school kid and had never thrown a punch in his life. And to uh, take Jeff through the steps and to temper both his mind and his body, and it's taken years of just it's psychology and science. Boxing is not just, you know, obviously hard work. There's a lot of psychology, there's a lot of science trying to temper his mind and body to the point where he is today, and he's, uh, he's, he's like a semi warrior these days. You know, he's, uh, he's a really, really, uh, he's a fierce competitor. It's taken time. I'm trying to bring the wisdom of, of uh, someone who's had 70 or 80 fights into someone who's had 17 fights. So that's the, that's the head that I'm trying to put on Jeff Horn's shoulders because everybody thinks uh, many will beat Jeff on experience. But as I've often said, you don't hit someone with a right experience or a left experience. You know, so you don't hit them with the eight, eight division world titles or 11 world titles. You don't hit them with that. It's just two guys. It's two warriors out there. It's just four fists. You know, it's a matter of whether Jeff can land his four, his two better than many can land his two. So that's what it's going to come down to. We want many to bring his A game. We want this to be a real serious contest between two, you know, perfectly prepared athletes. That's what we want. Yes, I think there's a good chance. Uh, if someone said to me, uh, I think there's probably uh, about an 80% chance this fight will end in a KO, and I would suggest that it would happen late in the fight, probably not earlier in the fight. I think we're going to see a real war and it's just going to, uh, it's going to be getting tough towards the end. Absolutely. I, I agree. I believe ticket sales are over 45,000. We'd dearly love to see a full house. And my vision originally when I said to Dean Lonigan is I see Jeff Horn fighting at Suncorp Stadium in front of a full house. So, you know, to, I'd love to see the rest of the tickets. I believe they will because that's what I saw. I, I could see Jeff fighting in front of a full house at Suncorp Stadium. So I really hope that Queensland and Australia and the rest of the world really get behind this. This is a brilliant fight and I really hope they get behind it this weekend. They come out in their droves. I mean, look at the weather. It's amazing. So, and come, it's going to be a great day. <laughs> Couldn't agree more. A defining moment. One of those, you just had to be there. You know, I was there. You know, so uh, again... You know, let's hope that the Queensland crowd get out behind Jeff Horn and Manny Pacquiao. You know, we want we want them to support Manny as well. We're not saying we don't want the crowd there against Manny. You know, we just we just want the crowd there to support these two uh, great athletes. And naturally, of course, we know the way we want the result to go. But you know, that's up to uh, Jeff and I to get that done. Yeah. I know in this fight that their spirits will be tested. Okay, in this fight, okay, I have no doubt that this is going to be. A much better fight than we've seen against Mayweather, uh, even Vargas and Bradley. It's going to be a much better fight. I think we've eliminated all of the problems that a lot of these fighters, and I've worked hard. I've got a 10-point plan, and Jeff is the only person who has that 10-point plan. Uh, and I said to him, you follow the 10-point plan that I've sent to you confidentially, we win the fight. Simple as that.